sorry for the delay in video 35 but my computer went down but we're up and running again so here is video 35 oh and don't forget to check out the rivet club it'll help to get this lancaster back in the air a little bit quicker cheers for now off here this yeah it's very badly corroded look see look this is supposed to be rivets going in from the other side so this should be the reaction just comes off look oh, huh. You can just uh, flick them off with your finger now. Yeah, it's magnesium there. rivets, you see. See? It looks like the head, doesn't it? Yeah. The head's on the inside. Yeah. I think. But anyway, it's breaking up. You can't really tell them apart. Yeah. But we've got to take this off. This has been taken off and leaving off. And we're going to restore this part um, until we change the skins. And they'll all be changed, you see? And then this will go back on. Yeah. Are any of these formers any good? They're all okay. They're, they're all fine. okay. Yeah, they're fine. The skin's fine. These are fine. It's oh. just it's just these skins. Where yeah. especially on the top, you can see there look where it's lifted, where it's bulged up. That's corrosion. Yeah, I can see on the very top one, can't yeah, you? Yeah, obviously that's the worst because of the weather. Yeah. But uh, we will We'll temporarily sort that out, but yeah. then when we change these skins complete, mm. that problem will go away, you see. Yeah. So that lifting of the skin, as you say, is purely corrosion. Yeah, it, 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 it grows like a fungus between the layers of skin. Mm. Oh, it's coming on okay, Jack. Yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah. He'll do a trip. Yeah. <laughs> so, these are just pop rivets, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are there. So they're, yeah. they're pops, but these are solids here. Yeah. I suppose because you couldn't really get in there to do them. No. You could here, but they just did them all. Yeah. Solids around there, and then took a pop. Yeah. That's a round tube. Aluminium tube, yeah. yeah. This is, um, this is, for hotter climates, so it's usually Irish linen with wood here. But because uh, of hotter climates, this was destined, it was supposed to go over to fight the Japanese or something, I yeah. think. So this was a, a different kind of streamliner. Oh, so it was um, made of mahogany or wood, was it? And then I don't know what the wood was, but yeah. The frame had, would be a hard wood and yeah. then it'd be and then Irish linen. Irish linen, yeah. Because it doesn't do a lot, it just takes the air around the edge of the turret. Yeah. But of course over there, cloth tends to get uh, rots, rots easy. Yeah. So they would, this was a mod. Yeah. Were they pop rivets? No, these were... These oh, were, that's right, you said that. Sorry. Yeah, they, this uh, are mush heads. The thing is, if you drill into them a little way and then ping them off, te hopefully you, you don't damage the hole underneath. So you're left with a, a fairly good hole underneath yeah. for, the, for the rivet to go back in there. Yeah. If you drilled right through, you'd probably end up with figure of eights, you know? Would you, are they going to replace these skins or are these, these skins, sk there's nothing wrong with them, they'll no. probably go back on. What about the body skin, the well, fuselage? They will be replaced, that's what I say, this corrosion problem will disappear when they change these skins. Yeah. But they can't do that, they wanted to do that this year but they've been let down by a supplier. But uh, hopefully next year we'll be doing that, because yeah. they want to do it in the proper length. And yeah. it's a one piece right to the to the transport joint. Mm -hmm. This is a small piece here, look. Mm. But uh,
tree working, mate. They just come and catch you taking it off you. Yeah. What more I know? Just the one, is it? Yeah, spinning. Oh. Yeah, these will clean up all right. Oh, will they? Yeah. Yeah, there's no corrosion on them. No corrosion on them at all. They've been painted, have they? Yeah, several dozen times. Oh, right. Yeah, because they're only a wind deflector, the secondary structure. Yeah. And it used to be Irish linen. Mm. So, what, with a plywood face, was it? Yeah. Irish, Irish yeah. linen. Yeah, plywood down. Well, some some wood down here, and then that. Mm. Well, th these formers were these made of wood as well. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. These is uh, this is like I say, it's a mod for the hotter climate. John has now stripped down all the ribs and the trailing edge for deburring and painting and then he'll assemble them all again with solid rivets as well as pop rivets. Here a line up up here right you know from outboard to inboard yeah but these forwards and backwards they're they've been done freehand oh are they individual yeah so they don't line up you know with your uh with yeah. the junk and so you know yeah so you'd rather having the five together some some bits you've got all five in together but, yeah but on other bits yeah, so you just have to splice them a bit yeah you know, mm. it's not, not a big problem yeah oh, but i say that's only a it's, that's a temporary repair anyway that because it's it again Oh, I thought they was going to do it because they've got the regular inspected, I was told. That's why they put the um, anchor nut strips in so they can screw them in and out. Right, you may know more than me then, for quick release. It's, yeah, it's going to be an annual service and right. to check when it's flying or whatever. Right, I thought this was just while they actually um, sawed the wing tips out uh, yeah. so, so that we didn't have to keep taking them on and off yeah. you know, to get in. Well, we'll pass on that and see what happens in the future. Yeah, well, I'll have a 50-50 on that one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your bets. Yeah, right. Yeah. See, we've got this one off, look. We're in the process of taking this off. Yeah. Didn't you have this side off? No, no. Uh, we're just taking this off. We've got to take all the rivets off down there. But they're also taking this... The, uh, this is the frame. Because all the way around here, there look. All the way, so yeah. So there. Because all the way around. I thought there was a join there, but there isn't. Um, so we're taking this all off. This, is this ring, yeah, this ring separate, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's going to come off there. Yeah. Um, this has been replaced and everything else has been taken out and then checked out yeah. but I don't think there's anything else needs changing other than the rivets because they may be magnesium rivets yeah but this piece here goes all the way down there and all the way down there yeah. as you can see I thought there was a joint here there's no 
that goes that goes straight to the back then. I thought there was a join there, but when I spread it was going the other way. Yeah. So I've got to undo all that. So where does this this particular one finish up into it, the... It, it finishes there. It finishes just there. Yeah, that's a little, yeah. Yeah. This, this one is loose but you can't catch the, the head. Yeah. That doesn't fit. Well to get this section off you've got a few hundred rivets to drill yeah, out. Oh yeah, there's a lot of rivets, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, uh, one side of that, all the way around, and then all of them underneath. Oh. It takes you an awful long time then to take those few rivets out. Yeah, well, mm. yeah. how come? Stretch it out as long as you can. And is this ring ready for lifting off there? No, no, he's messing around with it. Yeah. Oh. He's got to drill some of these out. If it, if it would be easy, Jack would have done it. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I see the screws are bad, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, the screws are naked. Yeah. yeah.